everyone. So today I'm going to be doing another fall tutorial using some emerald greens, um, a dark blue. Just a really pretty look for fall, I think. Um, and I'll also be sharing with you my outfit of the day since, to me in my mind, it's fall. Like, it should be fall and it's still hot. So I'm going to show you kind of how I'm transitioning. I'm making a very slow transition because the weather is not cooperating with me and getting cool like it's supposed to. But that's good because I know in other parts it doesn't get super cold during fall. So you're getting a lot of warmer fall outfit ideas from me, hopefully. So yeah, all that is coming up in this video. Stay tuned for the tutorial if you want to see exactly how to do it step by step. And I hope that you guys love it. So first I'm using a little bit of my NARS Smudge Proof Primer. Just to prevent creasing. To get a really bright green look, I'm using my MAC Chromographic Pencil in Landscape Green as a base. And when I use eye pencils as bases, I start by sort of lining the eye and then turning the pencil sort of sideways so you get the most color to come off. Then I just blend with my finger until it gets smooth. Also a little bit on my lower lash line, I'm just going to connect it to the color and go all the way in. I'm going to start with Humid and an E55 brush from Sigma. Humid is a pretty perfect emerald and over this bright green it keeps it from getting dark and losing some of that really pretty green to it. So I just pat that all over the green. For the lower lash line I'm taking an E20 brush in that same color. Just lightly trace around. I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with the NARS Larger Than Life and you'll see why in a moment. I just I want to go ahead and do this so that I can apply the eyeshadow to the lower lash line to sort of fill in any areas that this may have missed. That same color green and I'm just going to fill in, just dab it right along, not on the waterline. You don't want to apply eyeshadow there. I know some people do that to, to sort of set the eyeliner, but it's just going to end up in your eye. The powder product is never going to set up there. It's just going to end up traveling to the inner corners. But what I'm doing is I'm just dabbing it right against it where the lashes meet so that you don't have any little gaps in your lashes. And then when you apply the powder product right at the line, it keeps the line from traveling down. So I'm going to take this light green by Sigma called Define, which is a dupe for the Juxt by MAC if you have that. But this one's really smooth and I kind of like the way it applies better. Using an E30 brush with that, I'm just going to kind of apply it right against where I just put the humid on the lower lash line. Next I'm going to take this deep deep blue by MAC called Contrast and an E45 brush. I don't use this brush very often. <laughs> I really like it though. I should use it more. I'm going to put that right in the outer corner just to deepen it and then sort of work that into the crease. Again I'm not going to take it up really high and the blue isn't looking like a super like blue blue against the green, but this different color is going to really bring out the green and make the green look even greener against the blue, if that makes sense. A little bit on the E20 brush and sort of connect it just to that outer part. And we want to really soften it up. I'm using an E50 brush and I'm pointing it downward rather than upward so that it doesn't really travel too high. Taking a fluffy E40 brush in soft brown and I'm going to blend where the color meets the brow bone just to soften everything up to make some of the cooler shades blend really well against the brow bone. It just warms everything up. This is an old trick that I love. I don't think I've shown this with soft brown in a while but I used to do this on like every tutorial back in the day. I still do. I love this like with a different color. There's a really good dupe for this in the um, Lorac palette. Still though, I don't think anything is, is quite soft brown. To brighten up the inner corner, I'm taking this color called Vapor. And with a big brush right up underneath my brow for some highlight. Lining my upper lash line with my L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. And for mascara, I'm using Mylo Volume De Chanel Mascara. I 
For my cheeks, I first when I did my foundation, I used my Chanel Bronze Universal, which I really love. It's a great product. It looks like that. You apply it with a big kabuki brush. Um, I do have a video showing that. It's just really simple. I use an F45 like this by Sigma, and I just apply it like bronzer. The next tutorial where I use it, I'll demonstrate it, but you can always go to that video if you're curious. Um, then I'm going to use this Chanel, this is the wrong one, I grabbed the wrong one. Alright, so got the right one for my cheeks, I'm going to use this Chanel blush in Malice. This one is super pretty. It's sort of like a pinky coral, it looks really pink on camera, but against other pinks it almost has like a tint of coral to it. It's really pretty. The um, sparkle, like I said, doesn't really transfer to your cheeks, it's just, it's just the color. I really love these. For my lips, I do want some color. I don't want to look totally washed out since the eyes are a little darker. I'm just going to use this, my Sugar Honey Lip Treatment by Fresh. Really nice. This stuff is awesome. It gives your lips some definite color without looking like really opaque lipstick or anything like that. And then um, I do like to apply just a little bit of something with a sparkle. A little touch of my Dior 157. I love this gloss. So that is it for the makeup tutorial. I hope that you liked it. I'm going to show you my outfit of the day now. So this is my little dress. I love it. It's from Club Monaco. I've had it um, for a while now. I got it last year and loved it last year. I'll back up and show you the full outfit in a moment. But um, just so you can see, it's just so gorgeous. I love how it has the different like um, leather button details. You can even belt it, although I find when I belt it, sometimes it makes it really short. But if you were going out at night or something, that would be totally fine. Um, but with the warmer weather, it breathes, the material's really thin, you don't have to wear anything under it, which is nice. Um, I like to roll up the sleeves when it's a little warmer. In the cooler weather, you can roll the sleeves down and wear it with tights. I just absolutely love this dress. And I had to bust out my Chanel booties today. I showed these in my first Fall Trends video. Um, more of those are coming up very soon. Um, but yeah, I just love them. Might be still a tad too hot, but I don't care. I think they're so cute. When it gets cold, I can wear this same exact outfit with tights. The sleeves down, so love it. There's maybe a better full shot with the shoes. Since... I have to kind of like do one or the other or it's going to be super far away. So I love them. And then my Henry Bindle earrings that I've been wearing a ton lately. I just love them. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's my full look, tutorial, outfit, everything. Next week, lots of fun videos are coming up. The second installment of my Fall Trends series. If you missed the first one, uh, check it out. I will link it in the info below. Those are really fun to do. And... I forgot the other one. Oh, I'm doing a beauty tag video. So, um, so yeah, fashion video next week, a beauty tag video. I love these fall fashion video. I'm not going to get into that because this video is going to be really long, but, um, but definitely check that out. Those are super fun. Check out the one below if you haven't. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love doing these videos. I love that so many of you have been with me for so long over the five years that I've done this. It's just so fun and I just, I love it. I do these for you guys. I love interacting with you all. And it's just super, super fun for me. So I hope that you all had a fabulous week and that you will have an even more fabulous weekend. Weekends are always better, right? So yeah, look out for more fun things over the week. If you want to follow me on Instagram to see what I'll be up to this weekend, do so. The link is below. I love Instagram. And as always, you can go on over to my blog at MakeupByTiffanyD.com to get a full list of all the products that I used for this tutorial, more photos. Alright guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.